What's going on guys? John Waffle H2P here and we have a lot of breaking news tonight from pit football to college football in general but I mean the elephant in the room here is a power five coach is leaving a power five job a good power five job to a mediocre one. Scott Scatterfield my Gosh, I was not seeing that at all. Um, and this is a rival of Louisville, uh, if you call it that. I mean, old Big East rival, especially in basketball. But um, this is surprising. And frankly, it's unacceptable by the athletic department at Louisville for letting this happen. I know a lot of fans I've seen on Twitter, Louisville fans, like saying, yeah, I'm glad he's gone. Guys, this is not good at all. Uh, he has done wonders in recruiting Louisville. Yes, Adida helps. And that is another thing right now. Uh, the Adidas let this happen as well. But um, Louisville to Cincinnati, no offense to Cincinnati, but they do not have the money. They do not have anything. It's literally in the same city. The only job I could see Scatterfield going to is a Texas A&M, a USC, a, a blue blood program, a real blue blood program like SCC deep and Big Ten deep. But this is embarrassing for uh, <laughs> Louisville. I mean, it really is. And... Honestly, the athletic department should be ashamed of themselves for letting that happen. A team that uh, Louisville and is going to be playing Cincinnati in the bowl game. And the whole marketing in that game, uh, unless the game gets canceled, which uh, it may uh, really well after what just happened right now, it's going to be all about Scott Scatterfield using Louisville as, as a... <laughs> Basically, as a leverage to get to Cincinnati, a school that is already uh, <laughs> uh, coaching Lender Field, like where they're all leaving to other schools. My gosh, a stepping stone. That's the word I was trying to use. Yeah, stepping stone. And, and now Louisville, the Adidas school, uh, the Adidas, the Oregon, the Adidas version of Oregon is now a stepping school to schools like Louis, uh, Cincinnati. That's all I have to say on that. Um, I usually don't want to make videos about that, but, and this is not really what the main video is all about, but just getting that out of the way, that is just crazy. And I thought it was some type of bullshit on Twitter, but nope. My gosh. I mean, that's just unacceptable. <laughs> really unacceptable. But now moving on to Pitt. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a Pitt YouTuber. I really do not like covering the national SEC Big Ten garbage. The, I do not like covering conference realignment either, unless it's urgent. I mean... So, if anyone wants to talk about that, well, maybe when it's urgent, I'll talk about that. But for right now, I'm a pit YouTuber. Guys, I'm one of three, two or three pit YouTubers trying to get this thing going. Um, a lot of us, from what I have saw, we don't have enough subscribers. We're like in the 70s, lucky to in the 100s. I have like 40 right now. I would love it if anyone could share this video, Twitter, Facebook, internet, you name it, uh, to get people to come here, these videos. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we need more subscribers. We need more Pit fans in on YouTube. Right now, we have a bunch of WVU fans that I know, I'll admit, I'm over on their channels usually trying to snap, see if there's pit fans and stuff. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it does it. But I do troll. Hope I, I'm starting not to do that anymore because I think that was definitely the wrong direction to go. But, guys, I'm not... I'm not asking for a thousand or even a hundred. I my goal is to get to at least fifty subscribers by February. That's it. that's it, and that's being generous right now because I don't know where we're going from here. 
And I'm not, like I said, I'm not asking for a hundred. I'm not asking for anything. I'm asking for likes. Uh, that's great. That helps the channel. I don't get paid for this. I do this for passion. And yes, try to, try to get this network going. I'm on Twitter. I'm on, yeah, I'm just on Twitter right now. I'm not verified. I missed that uh, goal, unfortunately. But I have, I have networks. Please get my videos out there. It helps the ratings. It helps this channel grow. And it helps Pitt football in general. So with that out of the way, guys, the news for Pitt this week, uh, really that came out of the portal. Uh, the portal in general, uh, a lot of drama has already started. Uh, the portal has opened. And we have our first victim out of Pittsburgh Keenan Slovis, quarterback of the Pittsburgh Panthers this year. Now, first, I was really pissed off. I thought he wanted the money and stuff like that. But I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, if you're going to pay this guy who really had a so-and-so season, like $2 million to come to your school, you're, 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 you must be on some pills because, I mean, he's not worth it. And no offense to him, I think this is the best move for him. Uh, this offense is generally not working. And, and Signetti, this wasn't the right move for Signetti. It was either Signetti had to go or Slovis had to go. And uh, yeah, Slovis is the victim here. But we do have a good quarterback, Phil Jerko. Our quarterback names, Phil Jerko Vakic, uh, the former Boston College Football, uh, the former Boston College quarterback is coming in. Now, looking at his resume uh, this year, I mean, when I, I really have not been focusing on Boston College, but he is in Signetti's system. Uh, Signetti was his OC, I believe, back in BC a year ago. But as you know, uh, if you watched the Notre Dame game, which is really the only game I watched at Boston College this year, um, no offense. I mean, they're not really on my radar. They got molly whopped, and their offense was uh, uh, completely dismantled. That is a worry right now. Uh, we're going to South Bend. He will make the return trip to South Bend. We do have better talent at Pitt, but we're not like a blue blood program. I, I joke we are, but we're not. History doesn't mean shit in 2022. Excuse my language. And I'm spectacle. I mean, there could be other transfers. We have a lot of other transfers looking at Pitt. Like, that's a good school right now to go to. I will say that right now. Um, but right now, it looks like Mr. Jerka... Jerkovic, uh, I hope I'm not butchering his name. I mean, we always, I mean, I really hope I'm not butchering his name. I'll say that right now. But uh, I hope he's good. I'm. He's not going to be, he's not going to be a fix. I am not liking the offense. I mean, again, it was either Slovis or Signetti. I, at this point, we've been experimenting with offensive coordinators almost every year uh, with, with Narduzzi. It's just a shame that we run a program like that. I, I see people that I don't like on Twitter, like even like stating the obvious out, and they're right, guys. They are right. We're not, I mean, this was before NIL, so cut that crap out. Uh, Narduzzi has already always had the experimental side to him. We find a great offensive coordinator a few times, and we lose him uh, to other jobs, some great. I mean, Nebraska, I mean, was it really worth it this time around? I mean, I get Nebraska is technically still a blue blood, and they pro but they're not going to – they're not even with all the Big Ten money out there. I don't think uh, – uh, they're going to be running college football like Georgia is. I, I guarantee they won't be. But that's a different topic. I ramble a lot. 
Narduzzi really needs to get his head out of his ass. I mean, when he has the weapons, we're great. We can do stuff. We probably could have could have had a top 15 class last year for 2023. That didn't happen because we let our offensive coordinator go and uh we lot we let our some of our assistant coaches go. I get maybe Texas, yeah, they that's a good job, but I mean I mean, you you want to build something here. He wanted he stated he wanted to build something here. I mean, we have the alumni. I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, I do wish uh, I'm going off a little topic here that uh, I I'd like Narduzzi, but he's not doing his job in my opinion, and I don't think he is has the swagger. To get NIL deals automatically like Colorado probably will be doing with Deion Sanders. Um, it sucks seeing that school. I mean, I, I tried to make a video about that, but I was like, no. I mean, I just don't feel like getting into that. I mean, who knows where we're going to be in a few years. Uh, but, hey, shut up! Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know where our, uh, where we're going to be in a few years, but uh, looking at Colorado, I, I think that's a stepping stone for Deion Sanders, obviously. But uh, it's going to – I don't know where they're going to be, but they're definitely going to be a bowl team. I'll say that. And that's something that – I mean, he could probably build something quickly there. That's something that Narduzzi can't do. And to say, well, Colorado has this. They're not. No, they don't. No, they don't. Don't. If they did, we they would have been running college football in the two thousands. They're, in my opinion, Kansas State with a national championship in the nineties, and that makes everything uh, dilly dally and all that. But no, they don't mean anything in my opinion. I mean, they're they're a good school, but I mean. When I think of college football, I don't think of Colorado. I mean, I really don't. I mean, they had a 30 to 30 special, and that's it. I mean, I guess they have a good skiing team. I'll say that. Maybe rifle, too. I mean, they're good in those sports. But, I mean, in, in football, I mean, historically, yeah, they were good in the 90s and the early 2000s. But after that, I mean, they just went downhill as heck. But, yeah, excuse me, guys. I gotta let the stupid dog out, but, um, yeah, Colorado, I mean, I don't see where that program's going, but I mean, I think we're a lot more valuable than them. I will say that right now. I've never seen a Colorado fan really anywhere before. I mean, I know they have a good sellout for a one in 12, uh, regular team, but that's it. That really is it. <laughs> But um, I, I all I have to say really is uh, I'm spectacle. I really am. I mean, we're gonna have more players enter the transfer portal. Uh, we already had one. Um, it's gonna happen, guys. I don't think Izzy Ivana Kanda is gonna go to the portal. I think he will end up going to the draft. But. We need to figure this out. We really do. Uh, no one's going to help us but us. I mean, I'm not saying going to sit here and be a uh, polywag for the university. Donate, donate, donate. Because that doesn't help. I mean, I have, I mean, I don't think it would. But it's just, it's just frustrating when you see. Other schools, not blue bloods, like Louisville, who, I mean, okay, I'll, I'll admit Adidas does have a thing with them, so that's, I'll take that out. TCU, I mean, that's a big city. And then, yeah, Louisville, I mean, I'll, I know they have Adidas, but, I mean, they, it's in the city, it helps. It, I mean, business has come. I mean, I don't know what's going on at Pitt. I get, oh, Penn State, oh, Ohio State. I get that. I really do. But uh, 
it seems like a little sabotage and you have temple that has this stuff um that's closer to state college it probably isn't i think it's like center but you get the point um <laughs> nc state duke and north carolina i get a lot of them are good brands but i mean they all share the riley durham area and yes, I, I, I said Duke and UNC are great brands, but NC State's doing pretty good too. Why can't Pitt? Uh, Georgia Tech, uh, UGA rules that state, but they're, they're always up there for NIL. Why can't Pitt? I mean, I get they're not now. I, I, we'll see what happens with them, but uh, <laughs> I think we could do this. I think we could get our shit together and start making a f trust fund and all that but it's gonna take people it's gonna take the sponsors it's gonna take the boosters the alumni uh the athletic directors uh it's gonna take all of that to get this stuff going but i'm not here to speak i'm not here to preach i'm just giving my opinion out there again i mean please donate please please that would be great and yeah uh, we need more of this out here so we can stop being, oh, I don't want, we lost another one. See, because I don't think a lot of those people are donating. I mean, I really don't. I mean, like, I'm not throwing under anyone under the bus, but I mean, I'm just tired of hearing, say, seeing pit fans on here saying, we can't compete in this area. Well, yeah, no shit, because uh, someone's not donating. And I'm not blaming them. I'm, I'm just saying, uh, if we care, we need to get our shit together, go out, uh, market the damn place. Uh, we better sell out. I mean, we better have a crowd in uh, the Sun Bowl. I mean, I know it's not going to be a full sellout crowd, but if there's like 20 people there from Pitt, that's complete bullshit. It really is. I'm not going to be at the game. I know a lot of people are not going to be at the game, but I mean, there's we have alumni in New Mexico. We have alumni in Arizona. We have alumni in California. Uh, I checked recently. There's like 10,000 alumni in California from Pitt. Uh, are they going to be there? And we do have travelers from Pennsylvania. We have alumni in Texas too. Are they going to be there? We'll see. I mean, we can't stop saying, well, we, oh, we don't have trouble. I mean, and all that stuff. We, we want to want it. We need it. We need to build the brand. The brand, and yeah, this is kind of worn out, but you get you get what I'm saying. Uh, it takes it it takes people, it takes businesses, and it takes money uh, that in this in this day and age. And we'll see what this quarterback does. I'm spectacle. I'm that's what I think of the. That's what I think of the overall. Higher, or the overall uh, commitment, I, I think we could do better, though. I will say that. No offense, but I think we could do better. We could get a better OC. But we're stuck right now where we are. And I think this will have to do, uh, this will have to do for the, for the future two years or one year. But So we're in the unknown. Uh... Wild Well West has already started. Players are going to be available. A lot of players are interested in Pitt. A lot of other quarterbacks are interested. We'll keep you. I will keep posted. May not make a twenty-minute video out of this, but I will definitely keep uh, Panther Nation posted. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm a Pitt YouTuber. I really don't. I'm not here saying I have the sources. I have thick skin. Because I don't. I just go by what I read. I go by the data. And that's it. That's it. So that being said, guys. Please share this video. Try to anybody you want. Like. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, guys. Hail to Pit!